Hi, and welcome to another episode of Passionpreneur TV. I am Adara, and today I'm here with Tracy Duick from Tracy Cakes Bakery and Cafe. I love your cupcakes, and um, I love everything that you do. This whole setting is beautiful. It's the place to come with mom, with daughter, with sister, and just enjoy high tea and baked goods and lunch. And lunch. <laughs> awesome. So tell me how you got started, and then we'll get into all the things you're doing now. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom originally, so um, one day I sat on the couch and thought, oh my goodness, I'm almost done being a mom. And I love baking and cooking and having um, people over, so I really wanted to think about how I could use those talents and things that I had honed at, at home. And what the thought became the dream, and the dream became this reality that right now we're sitting in. My long-term goal was to impact them in a way, like around the table, so have more time with them. So I thought I would want to make a cafe, which I think distinguished us and differentiated us from other cupcake shops. Absolutely, yeah, it's not a take and go. It's the take and stay and play yeah. and hang and, yeah. and connect, right? Mm -hmm. So that's neat that that was important to you. And was that just because when you were at home baking for the kids or cooking, you really enjoyed that family time together? Yes, and I want to sort of replicate that because I do think that we that we've lost that even though our world is so big and I can talk to someone in China right now um, but we don't we don't connect with people the same anymore I think that we've we've got we've got that world view but we we need this totally. this time together nice yeah. beautiful so um, how long have you been cooking all your baked goods uh, for Trace cakes mm hmm we opened in 2006 uh, in Fort Langley and um, it became evident quite quickly um, that we needed to have another place because I could not keep up with the orders. So we opened in Abbotsford in 2008 and then in White Rock in 2009. And now you have um, the two stores plus an online store. Yes. Well, for people to order. Yeah. Yeah. And you do weddings and different events? Yes, we do weddings. Usually um, every weekend there's almost a week a wedding, yeah. Sometimes, maybe not in freezing cold January, but we do. Um, and they, we go and set up their cupcakes and um, make it very beautiful for them, make sure that they have everything that they need. Uh, we love brides, we love being a part of their life because we think that it's um, our little doorway into their life because they're gonna have children and then they're gonna need cupcakes for their children's first birthday and their showers. And so we always think that brides are very, very important. Absolutely. And um, you, your daughter just recently got married, ah. and that was beautiful. And then we just recently got married, too, and we had your cupcakes there, and they were a hit. They were gone, I swear, demolished within 10 minutes. So, yeah, yeah it's the perfect bite-sized piece that everyone's going to eat instead of that, like, non, um, very dense sort mm -hmm. of wedding cake yeah. <laughs> that you there usually have. Um, so that's cool. I didn't know you deliver. So you'll actually come and set it all up and, and do that all for them? Oh, yeah. I, we have delivered to a Soyuz as well, one of our weddings. Last two weeks ago, we delivered from Van Dusen Gardens all the way to Harrison on the same day. So two different weddings. Yeah. So amazing. That makes everyone's life so much easier. Besides this being a place where you can come and connect and be with someone that you love, what else are the uniquenesses around Tracy Cakes Bakery and Cafe? Well, we do have high tea here. And, you know, if you haven't had high tea, you must come and have it. It's a three-tier. You'll have your finger sandwiches, your little dainty scones are a must-have on a high tea. You've got Devonshire cream and jam and a little bit of fruit garnish. And um, it's just lovely and a way to experience um, some more special time together with um, those people that you want to do life with. Breakfast, we now open in both locations at 8 a.m. and we'll serve um, a um, two crepes, either a maple bacon crepe or we have a strawberry crepe with uh, fresh cream in it. And then we'll have a, a Western scramble, so it's two eggs and all kinds of goodness and a little English muffin, it's fabulous. Sounds divine. So I guess the last question I have for you is, um, through all your experience, what sort of advice would you have for other passionate entrepreneurs? Hmm. I, think, I think if I would tell myself back in the day, I think I wouldn't grow as fast. And I know it sounds 
like it's not the right thing to say, but I think taking time to sort of plateau and sort of like make sure all your systems are in place. So you're not like we did grow, grow, grow in three stores, three and a half years. And like a lot of our systems weren't in place because I'm just a mom and I was learning as I went. I think I would tell myself that or other entrepreneurs, passionpreneurs, I would tell them, you know, grow the business and then plateau a little bit and make sure your systems are in place. And don't be afraid to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. That's a very good piece of advice. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoy listening to people who have gotten a couple notches ahead of myself and learning their process. So I really appreciate you sharing that. And I think you're right. Without those systems and foundations, that growth could literally break you, right? So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It almost did. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't. It did. And I'm very resilient. That's right. Thanks, Tracy. So if you'd like to order anything online, you can check out tracycakesonline.com and check out her two locations, one in Langley and one in Abbotsford. And if you'd like to be on Passionpreneur TV, please drop me a line. Otherwise, I encourage you to follow in your own heart's desire. And I'm Adara, and I dare you to be different. Sugar.